Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again. I have brought my semi, sometimes co-host person to join me again for this one. Hello. The lap, the lap dog, yes. Yeah. Um, we've just been chilling while I watched Never Named um, draw me art for free. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm his, <laughs> I'm his slave. He doesn't even give me cookies. So who are you going to play as? Whoever you want me to play as. <laughs> oh, Freedom. There are a lot of characters here I don't think I've seen. Yeah, but the thing is, I haven't played them yet because I don't have a thumbnail for them, so if you pick one of them, you have to draw it. Fine. <laughs> what is good old Humphrey? Because this char that character, the old man in the bottom right. Healing damage, Healing damage builds a skill. Um, skill decreases over time, and when you get hit, skill deals bonus damage. Warzone control. It says skill decreases over time and when you get hit. Skill deals bonus damage. That's a different sentence. Okay. Either way, we don't know. That means nothing to me. Uh, it looks like you just build up a damage multiplier over time when you deal damage and don't get hit. Cool. Do you want to play as this dude? Yeah, go for it. I'll draw you as a cranky old man. Oh my god. The, the audio there. Ooh, he starts with some sort of... Sexy little shotgun. I don't think you know what a shotgun is. This is a shotgun, right? Uh, it's more like a burst fire. Burst fire it's, shotgun. It uses shotgun ammo. <laughs> well, yeah, but this doesn't say anything. You can you can put a shotgun shell in a fucking. You can put a shotgun shell in a fucking pistol, like those Russian cosmonaut pistols. <laughs> What's that guy? Because he finds big squares. The, the, the purple bullets can go through walls, and they can't. They also can't be deflected. But they are. They're cheeky. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, that just oh. reminds me of Badlands, man. Badlands. Badlands was such a cool game series. I don't and think it I ever sucks played Badlands. Now. It was a Badlands was a mobile game. But back in the day, when mobile game, when you could still find good mobile games, <laughs> Badlands, because yeah. I played it, I played it when I was a teenager in school. I fucking loved that game. It was a a story campaign platformer that used Flappy Bird mechanics. Okay. But you had to, but you had to. You, it had a really unique art style in that everything in the foreground was a silhouette, but the backgrounds were really beautifully like painted mm. and you had to like evade obstacles like really unique environments and navigate through puzzles and l know when to roll along the ground and stuff there were power-ups you could change size you could get multiple of yourself it was just really cool sounds interesting it, yeah it just bothers me so much that it was gutted over time, I think it, uh, the studio that made it was acquired by uh, uh, Supercell. They just got demolished, did they? Acquired by Supercell, the makers of Clash of Clans. Oh, Clash of Clans. I'm sorry to offend anyone here that plays Clash of Clans, but that game is just... Ugh. I'm not sorry to offend you if you play Clash of Clans. You're, you're Why is my skill decreasing over time? What's going on? Is that it what it said is? that it would... What? It literally said that it would do that in it the pop-up thing. But it wasn't doing it before. I got it up to like 70 before. Maybe because you just didn't yeah, have any skill. It's just locked... Oh, wait. I think it's in the, in the transitions look. It just doesn't decrease while I'm... Ah. Okay, that's... I it think, only I think decreases that's in combat. That's pretty good. I wouldn't have expected that. Increased primary fire at like thirty percent. Hell yes. But yeah, so they they added some more iffy elements to to Badlands over time. Like they uh, they changed some parts of the main campaign. And and they added some stuff where it's like adds in the pause menu kind of shit. Which mm. isn't, it, it's annoying, but it's not the, the be all and end all. But then they, the, they had, the game had a sequel, right? Yeah. And its sequel was 
fantastic. Was it still mobile? You couldn't... Yes. Its sequel was fantastic, because the sequel came out before the acquisition. Ah. But... You could only play the sequel on Apple devices. Ah, oh, no. Because the Android port was broken and shitty. Because oh, so it did company, have one, it just was really bad. It had, it had an Android port that was really bad and gutted a lot of the core stuff of the game. And that, it just it dep yeah, depresses me. That? Yeah. You can't even get the Android port anymore because it was so it bad was, that they that eventually bad. removed it. So we're just like, and why are they having this? They had a, a falling out with the company that they commissioned to do the Android port. Well, yeah, I'd imagine so. <laughs> but yeah, so you can't play... Because uh, I have an Android emulator on my computer for... Oh, just, nice. If I, if I ever need to play... And if I ever, not need, but if I ever want to play an Android game, I can play it on my computer using desktop there, I'm going to say, there is a few good ones out there that are worth, that are worth playing like that. And then there are, like, God, it's so depressing to have, there have been, because when I was a kid, I had an iPad. Uh, it was a really, like, secondhand thing, and I eventually broke it by dropping it. Okay, what actually happened was I dropped it and the screen the screen started messing up, right? It was flickering, the colors were all wrong. It just busted. My dad comes in and he's like, I will fix it. And he fixes the screen, but in process breaks its internet connector. Uh. So I could now look at it so long as I didn't want to do anything online. <laughs> Amazing. Perfect, exactly how you want it to work. I remember my friend okay. telling me um, that he broke his DS because he was on a road trip that was like six hours long and like an hour into it, he got annoyed at a game and punched the screen and it like snapped it back and like it literally just like fell off. <laughs> what a fucking dipshit. So he, into like a six hour car journey, he was like an hour in and like, yeah, it is no more. What, what a fucking idiot. What, what? kind of a fucking idiot smacks a phone screen. Also, you should probably take a crown here, because I've noticed that you don't really interact with crowns I much. Don't. In... I don't. Crown of um, purity. Dis disable weapon mods for each weapon mod on the weapon game, plus one max HP while holding that weapon. That's kind of interesting. Um, no health drops at the end of each area. Reset HP to max. If you already have max, overheal by one. That sounds pretty good. We'll go with that. You should, like, make it a rule for yourself that you have to take at least one crown. Like, if you have the opportunity, you have to take a crown. That would make these episodes pretty interesting, because it adds say, another yeah, layer. It's of... something I've never really interacted with, so it might be a good idea. Yeah, uh, an idea to force yourself to take a crown. Uh, oh, to, to... oh, I didn't take any damage there. Yeah, to force myself into situations that I'm not comfortable with. Yeah, I mean, you suck at this game already, but the I crowns... I really do. The crowns tend to be kind of side grades, and if they are bad, they usually... They have... They're all... I'm just trying to think of how to say this, because I'm doing that thing, that, like, autism thing, where more words come out of my brain before they're, uh, Fully processed. Formed, yeah. So I'm just going, it's like the, um, the, the, do, do you, uh, if the, uh, uh, could you, uh, be more like, um... And nothing's really and being not said. Actually, yeah, and I'm not saying anything, so I should take a moment to pause. I, I'm a bit tired at the moment, so I, I get really chatty <laughs> when bit, I'm tired. A bit tired. Explain to these people how tired you are. So it's 9am, meaning I've been awake for... Um, 10 hours currently? Which isn't a huge amount, but it means I'm kind of tired. He, he has a very, very awful sleep schedule. Yeah, I was up I was up all night. Modding. But uh 
the Apple Knight modding, doing some funky stuff with Gungeon. But the crowns are typically side grades. They have downsides, and some of them are even bad, but they're usually not super bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, only, there's a few that are overtly bad, but there's a lot of that that are, like, upgrade and downgrade. Yeah. Usually, they're at least... they at least compensate in some way, to the point where it, they're mostly interesting. What is a shotgun rifle? I don't know, that's why I picked it up. It sounds interesting. Uh, we'll get some cracking on it, maybe. Cheers to that. Oh, this is nice. Gimme, Good gimme. cider. I want a cider now. Go get one. Oh, it's a hybrid. It's a shotgun and a rifle. Oh, it swaps? Like, yep. between firing? That's some Gungeon shit. It is. It's pretty cool. That's really cool, in fact. <laughs> I really like that. I oh, by the way, I, I haven't used my ability with this guy yet. What does my ability do? Oh, fuck. It just darkens the screen. Is that, is that doing anything? It absolutely tanks the bitrate of the, uh, the stream. <laughs> And you lag out. Uh, are you, like, tapping it, or are you holding it? I'm, I'm holding it, and it just flashes grey. Maybe it just doesn't have one? I can't remember what did it say when we read it. His ability, it said Warzone. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means, though. Yeah, I don't really know. At the minute, I'm only noticing the, the, the skill level thing. But even then, I'm not really understanding what the skill level is doing for me. I'll be honest. It, it said that you deal more damage the higher your skill is. Ah, I did it. Okay. Yeah. That's the, like the thing. It, it explained in clear, plain English, and you were like, I don't understand it. Let's just find out. <laughs> I don't like to I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Another problem is I keep thinking my bloody crown is an enemy. Yeah, you're just telling on yourself that you never take crowns. Remember, no healing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Remember, no healing. I kind of walked right into great. that. You are great. Yeah, Warzone. It just flash, flash. Oh wait. It has ammo. Okay, kill me. Kill me. I want to figure out this hit again. Shoot me, damn it. Bandits don't shoot you if you're too close to them. I will never believe that lie. Alright, what ammo did I use then? But also it seemed to stun things when I did it for a brief moment. It looks it like it might just use... I don't know. It puts stars above their head. Look, and it slows time a little bit. But then it run out of ammo. I'm confused by this. This is perplexing. Maybe it uses skill. No, no, it doesn't maybe it work. Maybe it uses skill. Oh, wait, maybe it does? No. Try and build up some skill, because it might use it in like increments of 10 or something. Yeah. Like maybe you need to have high enough skill before you can activate it. Weird that they like said not enough ammo. When yeah. it, if it is skill, it's weird that they use the term ammo if it, if it does turn out to be skill. I'm very confused by this all. I'll be honest. So it looks like the way you play this character is be fast, be accurate, and don't get hit, which it could be said for all of them. <laughs> yeah. This guy just you gives have, like, you rewards for playing how you should be playing. I, mean, I play games very slowly, you know this, and oh, you hate yeah. that. And I definitely don't. The reason I'm so bad at this game is because I play it so quickly. You have 34 skill. Try using it when you enter the next area. Spamming it now. Oh, yep, it's working, but it did not spend any of my skill. Hmm. Maybe you can own... Maybe it doesn't spend skill, but you can only use it when your skill is high? 
which makes the ammo thing... It, it highlights your ammo so... Oh, maybe... Maybe it uses ammo that, that you isn't don't... what's currently equipped. Maybe, yeah. Best part of games is figuring out what the fuck the developer <laughs> thinks is going on. Yeah. Like, because it highlights your ammo, okay, you've got some shotgun ammo. They use the shotgun ammo. Right. So it's time slow, and what looks like enemy stun in exchange for ammo for the guns that you don't have equipped. Which is pretty good, really. Pretty good trade. The only thing is, you have to have a melee weapon in order to get ammo for weapons you don't have equipped. You can also get uh, ammo for guns you don't have equipped just by those guns spawning. Oh, that's you true, just yeah. Steal yeah, the yeah, ammo. yeah. Grab a torch, because I want such low health here. Oh, cider always makes me feel so weird and bubbly in my stomach, and I don't like it. That was a good run. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Like, I've died to mimics plenty of times, but I've never had a mimic spawn next to me at the start of the stage, and it be the thing that kills me. It's so funny how he did an old man flop on the ground. <laughs> like, I, I used to be an adventurer like you until I took a mimic to the knee. Oh, by the way, um, <laughs> I just re I just realized something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this video is meant to go in like an hour. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> what about it? You've got to draw the thumbnail. Oh fuck! You're right. <laughs> Jesus. I completely forgot about that when I even even entertained the notion of that idea. <laughs> you. This is why... Why do you do everything last minute? Uh, I, I, I should backlog more Nuclear Throne. I just don't, and I don't know why. Uh, we'll do a marathon sometime. I'll join you. Yeah, it'll be fun. That is a very annoying golden fella. He was purple. Not but right. He's he meant to be golden. Though. You know what I mean. But he's not... He's not golden. He's purple. Shut. I died again. Yeah. You're doing very well. <laughs> I am. I am a pro at this game. People people oh. are here for my witty sense of humor. Yeah, speaking of, we were talking about a uh, Garfield amusement park uh, before we started. We were. I showed him the Garf I showed him the Garfield urinal. He did. It was despicable. No one yeah. needs to see that, but if you haven't, go Google it. Yeah, Google Garfield Urinal and make sure you click on the Images tab and not the Shopping tab. Because that's <laughs> one of those ones where, like, go go sometimes when you Google something, uh, Google thinks this is something that people search to buy. So they put the Shopping tab before the Images tab. Like, if you search baby powder or baby formula or something, it'll show you the Shopping tab first rather than images. Yeah, but for some reason, for Gar some Garfield reason, Urinal is something that people are buying often reason, enough to trigger this. For some reason, Garfield Urinal is a combination of words that Google sees and thinks, yeah, I should show them the shopping results for this. Well, I feel like it's, if it's data-based, enough people have bought one that that's what Google knows is going to happen. Who's who's selling one? They were a conceptual thing from, like, the early 2000s. Well, clearly, the concept... The conceptual version of it got popular enough of a meme that people were like, I want one of these for my house now. So it's people searching up Garfield urinal for sale. Maybe no one's selling them, but people are looking to buy. That's an untapped market. So when are we getting the Turtle Melon urinal <laughs> merch where we can piss into your mouth? Hmm, probably pretty soon. That seems like seems like it, it'd be in high demand. Yeah, it's commissioned. You can sell one to that local bar that you have. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a bar near me that has urinals in the shape of like big um big lips, like big red sort of um lipstick lips. Utterly vile. Very strange. Utterly vile. It, it kind of is. But that saying, place, they, that, to be fair, the, pla say, the place is called BJ's, so Yeah, but that just stands for Broderick 
Jameson. Well, in this case, What's it stands for, in, in this case, it stands for Bunny Jacksons. But who the fuck is Bunny Jackson? I don't know. That's not a real name. It's not a real. That's a Bond villain. It's like pussy galore. Oh god. You ever try to forget that there was a Bond character called Pussy Galore? In what film was that? Uh... Hold on. The Spy Who Shagged Me. Hold on. Uh, Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Lovely. We need to watch Pussy more films. Galore. We haven't watched many films together. Pussy Galore is a fictional character in the 1959 Ian James Fleming, Ian Fleming James Bond novel Goldfinger, and the 1964 film of the same name. Uh, the, 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 she also appears in Trigger Mortis. Uh, what a strange name. Uh, da, 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 da. In popular culture, the 1997 parody film Austin Powers International Mad of Mystery features a character called A Lot of For China <laughs> in an apparent. <laughs> We've gone somewhere with this video. Anyways, yes, uh... <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh god, I didn't realize that that Garfield urinal was part of a larger page in which he... Jim Davis also drew a Garfield bikini. Oh no. In which Garfield's face is uh, on the lower portion of the bikini. Basically, imagine, <laughs> imagine Garfield staring at you from like, like she's giving birth to Garfield. Like, oh no, I. This is stuff that you don't. You, you're selling me to imagine it. I don't want or need to. Oh okay, well, I'll just send you the image. Oh god. But now I just have to see it, do I? Yeah. Uh, some reason copy paste hates working when I want it to. For some reason. Ugh, fuck off. Here, I'm sending the image now. When you're when you're free, you need to take a look at that. My good uh, isn't oh, it, right now, but I'm scared. It'll it'll get your motor running. Mm. I'll tell you what. On the same page, there's also a. Uh... I've seen it. It is. The worst. Okay, I didn't realize it was fluffy. Yeah. I didn't picture it. I, I pitched it more of a print than like it would be. Than and by it, I don't mean the woman. I mean the bikini. Um. No, it's a <laughs> it's an anthropomorphic furry. Oh god. Clearly. There's also another drawing of Garfield uh, wearing a thong. With Garfield a, a wearing doll a thong. Oh god. Yes, with a dollar bill sticking out of his thong. <laughs> what was going on with this man's head? I don't know. I sent you that one as well for your what personal he, use. What did he think that the market dictated at this point? Yeah, what did he think? What did he think was going on with Garfield? He's like, oh, Garfield, you know, he's a deeply sexual being. <laughs> Garfield is a sex icon. We all know it. We all think we're all thinking it. Apparently, he thought we all were. He hates Mondays. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that he hates Mondays? Maybe for him, uh, lasagna and sex are just synonymous. They're like always one always comes with the other. So he's like, well, everyone must think that way. You walk into a room of thirteen cats. They all look at you. Garfield is their ringleader, and he says, All right, boys, it's time for a move I call the lasagna. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what, what crown next? Uh, what's that bomb crown in the top? It's, it said, uh, minus one max HP, bigger explosions. That could be fun. 
I don't have anything explosive though. Or, I'm, uh, actually, it could, it could class all explosions, I guess. It's it said explosion, so I assume it means all. God, Just be the... very careful, because I don't know how much more yeah. we're talking. No, we don't. Uh, the buff to impact wrists is one of my favorite things in this mod. It, it makes it so much more of a fun item. Oh, it looks like they do like uh, quadruple it. Huh? He was taking an He's awfully long time to explode. Right <laughs> round, baby, right round like a record, baby. So it looks like it is all explosions, but they do like a triforce explosion pattern. Ooh. Our client's life so is you, very useful here. If you do get like a grenade launcher, it'll be significantly buffed by the additional explosives. Nice. I will look out for them. Anyway, so the Garfield uh, amusement park never was never built. Thank oh. the Lord. Uh, <laughs> that would be a, like I'm, all I'm imagining is not not how it would be when it was when it was thriving or if it ever thrived. More like how horrible it would be as an abandoned theme park. <laughs> The, yes, the Garfield uh, Sex Motel. <laughs> <laughs> but they did have a uh, there's an amusement park. Or okay, a, will this do? Yeah, this, amusement... this is a hyper Gatling bazooka. Will this do? Uh, be very careful, I would say, when testing it. Yeah, it looks like it is. That was definitely doing the Triforce pattern. I say Triforce, it's just a triangle. <laughs> My brain has been rotted by the Siapinski gasket. The swarm of minigun. Shoot him. Shoot him. Kinda works. What was that? <laughs> I just spammed the rocket launch because it's Gatling, so I spammed it. Oh. I have, luckily I have alkaline saliva, so um, the first hit of damage every floor is negated and actually heals me, so I just didn't take any damage. You need boiling veins. I've got it, I just picked it up. Oh, really? Yeah, li literally, between the last floor and this one, I literally just picked it up. I didn't see that. Uh, no, pretend I said that in response to you picking up boiling veins, <laughs> validating your decision. Anyway, yeah, there was a Garfield uh, ride at the Kennywood Amusement Park in the US. And... Holy shit, this thing they, fires so fast. They they chose to ignore the uh, the raw sex appeal of Garfield. Damn. What a shame. For some people, I guess. It was... It was a, basically a re-theme. There's a Defunct Land video on this for anyone interested. It's a fascinating watch. I'm just going to summarize it for, for Turtle. Uh, basically, an old mill is a slow boat ride through a dark tunnel. Like... Okay. Old a... mill ride... Hmm? Is it just, is, is that a specific type of ride, or is that a ride there? It, it is a type of ride. Ah, I see, I see. Basically, old mills are like... Oh my god. Oh. I got, I got an achievement for reaching level 1000. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my fucking god, you fucking killed him, dude. Oh my god. Uh, old mills are boat rides through dark tunnels. They're more commonly known as, as tunnels of love, if you've ever heard that expression. Yeah, like the one from, um, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's not a- what? They ride through a dark tunnel in that. Yeah, but that's not a tunnel of love, that's a tunnel of fear. <laughs> it's still an old mill ride, There's right? There's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going. Is it um, raining? Is it snowing? You crashed my game! 
is a hurricane blowing? Is the Grizzly Reaper mowing? Yes! <laughs> I can't believe you live with other people and you just can do that. <laughs> I've been talking at full volume about the raw sex appeal of Garfield for the past ten minutes. I really don't care what other people think about me. That is true. That is true. Uh, yeah, and we, I'm, we I'm letting you record here. it. To, I'm letting you record it to put it on the internet as well. Oh lord. Oh uh, dear god. Anyways, I guess that reaches our conclusion of this episode because we've crashed. Anyway, uh, the old mill at Kennywood. Uh, <laughs> Garfield themed, it was bad, it was lazy, and people, uh, fucked on it. <laughs> oh, lord. That's its entire history. <laughs> and Garfield's <laughs> eyes fell out. Oh my god. He, 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 he just seen too much. <laughs> he needed to take them out. Garfield knows all of our sins. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna leave it here so that Nevernam actually has time to draw this. <laughs> Um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it's a slightly shorter episode, but yeah. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.